In this video, we'll be seeing how to request runtime permissions in Android. This is the demo of what we are going to do in this video. On clicking the button, the permission request is coming and let's click on don't allow. Now we can see a alert dialog. And if you click on OK, we can see the permission request is coming once more. Now if you click on disallow once more, the alert dialog box will change and we can see the instead of an OK button, we can see a settings option. So the user have to go to the settings and manually enable the permissions now. So the user can allow the permission. Okay, like this and open the app. And now if you click on this button, you can see permission granted. So hope you understand. So we'll be seeing how to make a runtime permission request in Android. First of all, let's make a button and on clicking the button, we can make the request. So here we have added a button and given the ID BTN request. So let's go to activity main Java and here we can give a object for the button. And let's initialize the button. Let's add an on click listener for the button. So on clicking the button, we can call the function to make the request. So let's make this function. Click Alt Enter and you can click on the create method. And outside the on create, we can make the function. So this is our method. And inside here, we can write our logic for making the request. So for that, we can refer this documentation by Android. So let's scroll down here. I'll give the link for this on the description and we'll be following this flow. Okay, you can see this flow chart and we'll be following this. So first of all, we can make the declaration for the permission in manifest file. For that, we can open the manifest file and here we can add the permission. Let's add a permission, uses permission. Let's add the permission to read contacts. Okay, so now we have added a permission. Now we can make the runtime request for this permission. So let's go to our activity main Java file. We have added the permission on manifest file and we have also added a button. And when the user clicks on the button, we can check if the permission is already enabled or not. Let's scroll down a little bit and we can see here we can check if the permission is enabled or not using this. So we can copy this from here. Okay, because we'll be implementing all these. So let's copy this much. And we can paste it here. We have to import all the classes. So simply click here and type all tender and we can click on import class. And here we have to pass the application context. So we can type get application context. So the next one is our permissions. So we have to add the permission to read contacts. So we can add Android here, Android dot manifest dot permissions. Then we can specify the read contacts. Okay. So we have to add this equal to permission manager dot permission granted. Okay. So let's import this class, click here and type all tender and it will import the class. So if you go to the top, you can see the imported classes here. See, that's it. So the next one, we have to perform the action. That is, if the permission is granted, we can simply show a toast message. You can actually perform the action that is maybe read the contact, etc. So in our case, it is contacts. So you can perform things accordingly. Okay. So for now, we are going to show a toast message. So we have added a toast message. If the permission is granted, permission for reading the contact is granted, 
will be showing this toast message. So let's import other classes that is activity compact. We can click here and type alt plus enter. Click on import class. It will add the class to the top. Then our request again. So let's copy it from here. And we can add it here. And let's remove all these from here. Here we can show a alert box and specify that the permission is required for the specific function to work etc. So we'll be doing that. Then the next part here. Let's change this one. Okay, we are going to remove this one. And we can call activity compact dot request permissions. Inside that we can pass the activity or get application context. Give a comma and we can pass the permissions. So new string array. Then pass the permission. We are only passing one permission. So that is the permission to read contact. So let's set and enter from here so it will be visible for you. See, we are passing the permission here and give a comma and then we have to pass the request code. So let's create a variable on the top. Let's make a integer value. So here we have created an integer value. You simply have to make sure that the value should be different for each request. That's all. So here for read contacts, we are having 100. So if you're having any other permissions, you can give another integer value. That's all. Simply make sure that the value is different. And let's call that here. Here we can see an error. So if you hover over this, you can see that the function is expecting activity and not a context. So simply change this get activity get application context to this. Okay, that is the activity. You can either make it like activity name dot this also. Okay, so let's hit and enter from here. Okay, so hope this is visible for you. We have checked if the permission is already granted or not. So if the permission is not granted, we'll be going to this section. That is, we have to show a rationale to the users. So let's go to our code. And here we are checking if the app should show a rational or not and inside this if condition we can create an alert dialog now we can set a message for the alert builder dot set message inside that we can pass the message Let's set a title. So builder dot set title. And we can pass the title like permission required. Okay, we don't have to give the semicolon and we can continue along and we can set cancelable to be false. So the user will not be able to cancel the alert dialog. So the next one we can set a positive button so set positive button give a message okay new dialog interface dot on click listener and here inside this on click we can ask for the permission once more so if the user is clicking okay we can ask the permission once more so for that activity compact dot request permissions uh, we can copy the line from here okay okay paste it here and below that we can call dialog interface dot dismiss okay so we are dismissing the alert box and we'll be also asking for the permission once more okay and give a semicolon here hit enter 
and after that we can set a negative button also so build a dot set negative button let's make it like dismiss or cancel okay cancel give a comma new on click listener and here inside this we can dismiss the alert dialog that's it give a semicolon at the end so that's it so if we are clicking cancel we'll be simply dismissing the alert dialog after that we can call builder dot show that's it give a semicolon okay so our alert dialog box is ready so here we are simply showing a dialog box to the user saying that the permission is required otherwise the features or the app will not function properly and if the user clicks ok we'll be asking for the permission once more otherwise we will dismiss the alert box so the first section is completed now we have to concentrate on the second one this much the seventh step and the eighth and eighth okay so we have to check if the permission is granted by the user so you can scroll down and uh, okay here we can see on request permission result okay so we have to override this method so let's come here and below the function okay after the closing for this function come here and hit enter and we can type on request permission result okay on request permissions result and after this we can check if request code equal to equal to and we have to give the request code that we have given on the top a request code read contact open the if condition so here we are checking if the request code that we passed here you can see we are passing the request code here is equal to this one that we are getting on the on request permissions result if it is equal inside the if condition we can check if grant results dot length is greater than zero and grant results of zero equal to equal to package manager dot permission granted open the if condition okay hope it is visible for you okay so here we are checking if the permission is granted or not and inside the if condition we can show a toast message here so we can copy the toast message we given here okay on the first if condition here okay copy this one and we can keep that here okay so if the permission is granted we are going to show this message and on the else if create an else if here inside the if we can type note activity combat dot should show request permission rationale and inside that this activity pass the activity comma and then the permission that is let's copy the permission from the top okay come here this one okay android dot manifest dot permissions dot read contacts copy that and paste it here okay let's hit an end up from here okay so hope it is visible for you we can open the if condition inside this we can show the alert dialog that we created here we'll be changing few things so simply copy this much okay from here to here and we can paste it here and on the positive button here okay inside the on click we can remove this and we can open the settings so for that we can create an intent intent create an object equal to new intent and inside that we can pass settings dot 
ആക്ഷൻ ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ സെറ്റിംഗ്സ് ഗിവ് എ സെമി കോളൻ ഹോപ്പ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് വിസിബിൾ ഫോർ യു ലെമി ജസ്റ്റ് മൂവ് ഇറ്റ് ഹിയർ ഓക്കെ ഹോപ്പ് യു ക്യാൻ വ്യൂ ദി സ്ക്രീൻ പ്രോപ്പർലി ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ലെറ്റ്സ് ക്രിയേറ്റ് എ യു ആർ ഐ ക്രിയേറ്റ് എൻ ഓബ്ജെക്ട് ഓക്കെ ലെറ്റ്സ് ഇമ്പോർട്ട് ദി ക്ലാസ് ഓക്കെ ഇമ്പോർട്ട് ദി ക്ലാസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു യു ആർ ഐ ഡോട്ട് ഫ്രം പാർട്സ് പാക്കേജ് ഗിവ് എ കോമ ഗെറ്റ് പാക്കേജ് നെയിം ഗിവ് എ കോമ ആൻഡ് പാസ് നൾ ആഫ്റ്റർ ദാറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ വി ക്യാൻ കോൾ ഇൻറ്റൻറ്റ് ഡോട്ട് സെറ്റ് data and pass the uri object and then we can start the activity called start activity pass intent and we can dismiss the dialog box so for that dialog interface dot dismiss okay so here we have created a intent to open the application settings so we are opening the app info of that particular application so on clicking okay we'll be opening the application settings and the user can enable the permissions from the settings so on the negative on the cancel button we are simply dismissing the dialog box that's it after the ifs we can create a else and we can call the function that is this function okay we can call this function on the else here and that's it so we have completed the implementation now we can try running the application so we can see the app has launched on the emulator let's try clicking on the button okay on clicking the button we can see the permission to read the contact is showing so let's try clicking on don't allow we can see our alert so that is this one okay you can see this alert dialog is showing here hope the code is visible for you okay so right now this alert dialog is showing okay so inside this function we are having an if else and this is the dialog box so if you click on okay it will ask for the permission once more see and if you click on disallow once more it will show this dialog and that is this one okay we forgot to change this okay to settings so we can change that here because it will be taking you to settings so if you click on this okay it will take you to the settings see now we are inside the app info so we just updated the okay to settings so let's try running it once more okay let's click on the button see now it is showing the settings okay so click on the settings and it will open app info okay now the user have to go to the settings and enable the permissions so you can enable the contacts here see that's it so after enabling you can come back and click on the button now we can see permissions granted see let's try uninstalling the application okay oh we can clear the data you know and we can open the app once more now click on the button and the request came and we can try clicking on allow now we can see the granted toss message is showing okay so hope you understand if you have any doubts you can leave a comment below i will respond to all your comments you can also join our whatsapp or discord community and we can have a discussions there if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos